Greetings everyone and welcome to Coffee Black, where the Voyager adventures continue on YouTube. I'm your host, Captain G, and this is the channel where we talk anything and everything Star Trek Voyager related, from news, reviews, and more. So today is Model Monday, and we are going to be doing an Eagle Moss diecast model review. Today we have the USS Voyager XL. The XL series of models are much bigger, much more detailed, and this is the first one I'm adding to my collection, so I'm very excited about this one today. And I cannot wait to unbox and review it. Computer, access file, Voyager XL Alpha. So today we have the USS Voyager XL. Comes in a different type of cardboard box than what we're used to. Of course, it still has all the emblems and everything. It's a much larger box, which makes sense because the model is supposed to be bigger through the description. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, break the seal. Out. Has styrofoam. Stuck there. Ah. There we go. I broke a little bit of the styrofoam trying to get that off. There she is. She is gorgeous. Wow. So, so cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and get everything else out of the box and then we'll check her out. Has a typical stand. Actually the base of the stand the base of this the base of the stand actually seems uh, about the same size as the regular ones. This is Voyager. I don't know if that's the same serial number or anything. Maybe they used the same kind of base as the original, the regular sized. I don't know. And I recognize this type of a stand, obviously a little bigger, but it's going to attach to the saucer section. Let's look at the model itself here. Obviously pretty heavy. Lots of metal. Especially the saucer section on the back part of the ship as well. It looks like the nacelles are plastic, which kind of makes sense. I wouldn't expect it all to be metal and have this level of color and detail. So very, very cool. The detail on this is really, really gorgeous. Try to get it up there a little closer so you can see detail. Of course, there's the Aero Shuttle right there, and CC74656, even says Voyager right there in very tiny print. Of course, uh, wow, well, you can even see the numbers on, on, on all, the, all the escape pods, very, very cool. Very neat. Of course, that's where the warp core ejects. I prepare. I was prepared for this to be detailed, but I mean, the level of detail on this is actually really, really neat. Much uh, more detail than I was anticipating, I guess. It definitely lives up to the hype, at least for me. Yeah, every single one of these escape pods have numbers on them. Very neat. Wow. Shuttle bay on the back of the ship. Wow. Okay, let's see how she looks on the stand. That's right there. Pretty good fit. Whoa. As was expected with this type of uh, stand, can't apply any kind of pressure here. You bump it whatever so definitely have it further back on your shelves 
otherwise I think it's pretty good. I've said in other videos I'm not a fan of this type of stand holding onto the saucer section, but given that this is an XL, I kind of understand why it wouldn't be attached to the back. It's much heavier because the saucer section is mostly metal. Still very cool. Put her down for a second here, and I'm going to get the original. All right, here we are. Look at that difference. It is more or less five times the size of the regular Voyager. A lot more detail, a lot heavier. Wow. Both are still very beautiful. Definitely happy to have them in my collection. Just, wow. <laughs> really good size. That's awesome. I'll probably be getting more XLs in the future, but I definitely wanted to get this one. This was on my personal checklist, and I definitely wanted to have it first before I get any more XLs. It does not disappoint. That is such a beautiful ship. So very cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the review of this model. If you did, please drop a like, and also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Voyager content. I, of course, do a Voyager related model video every Monday so that's something you can look forward to and I try to have some type of a trivia or news related video every week as well. So, well that is it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Live long and prosper.